I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything What an amazing time to be alive right now. You and I and everyone else are in the privileged position to be able to witness the end of the war on drugs. As with all public health crises, it ultimately turned out that we just needed to figure out which commonly used household items we needed to ban in order to solve the problem, and in this case, it was Mylar bags. But as with all victories, there are costs, and in this case, the cost is our convenient access to Mylar bags. In the past, it was fairly easy to go on Amazon and you could buy small Mylar bags. There are medium-sized Mylar bags, you can have large Mylar bags, but at the moment, uh, the era of easy access to these, at least on Amazon, is seeming like it's drawing to a close. Does that mean that we'll never get to use Mylar bags again in terms of prepping and preparedness and food storage? Not at all. I can guarantee Mylar bags are not going away. They're an excellent way of storing food for long-term use. Companies know that, and if companies want access to something, it's gonna continue to be available. So how are you gonna get access to these things? Well, one way is just don't go through Amazon. Amazon is only one uh, source of Mylar bags. There are others. In fact, this right here, discountmylarbags.com might be a good place to go. There are lots of different sources and there are even sources where you can get Mylar bags that are absolutely free. Here's a couple of sources right here. Uh, this is a Mylar bag where I bought a, several pounds of Mediterranean oregano leaf. Spices are very frequently sold in Mylar bags because they're so great at keeping things fresh on the inside. And this is reusable. I can use this many, many times, and that's why I've kept this for many, many years. Though I don't use Mylar bags that frequently in my own food storage techniques. That's why I still have this over time. But I know that they do have a lot of utility. If you don't want to buy pounds and pounds of oregano, how about smart food? cheddar popcorn. Lots of potato chips, popcorn, and things like that come in Mylar bags, and we're going to continue to have really easy access to this type of stuff. So how can we utilize this if we want to use this for, say, storing some taco shells? Incidentally, if you were in the uh, illicit narcotics trade and you still wanted to continue to, you know, apply your trade and you needed Mylar bags for it, do you think this ban is really going to stop anyone from getting access to Mylar bags? Not really. It's just a matter of convenience. That's what we always do is when we see a public health issue or any kind of an issue in our society, we want to just create a law, an easy law. You know, make, a, make something illegal and that'll make the problem go away. So, we're made, we're, you know, in this case, Mylar bags aren't illegal, but it's the same kind of mindset. It's like if we can just take that thing so that people don't have access to it, suddenly people will be virtuous and won't, you know, won't have these vices that they're trying to serve anymore. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic here, that's ridiculous, but that's the way humans, uh, at least humans in our Western world, like to try to solve problems and then fail and then can continue to uh, deal with these problems over time. And isn't that a great way to keep getting elected? If the world was just uh, wonderful, you wouldn't have all these problems for politicians to uh, campaign on. If we can keep the problems going on, you know, keep us uh, all you know, in fear of these problems, then uh, yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier for the politicians, so it's not much of an incentive for them to actually solve any of these problems, is it? Anyway, let's uh, start solving our issue of wanting to get easy access to Mylar bags. You take an old Mylar bag, clean it out, you can put whatever you want in there. I'm going to be using this heat seal. This is also a vacuum sealer, but uh, I'm not going to be using the vacuum seal function, just the heat seal function. Open it up. I want to close this up, put it over our heat seal line. There are lots of different ways of, uh, of sealing bags. There's like little crimpers and things like that. Lots of different ways. This just happens to be what I have. So this is what I, is that close? Yeah, there we go. This is what I use. I hit the seal button. I wait a little bit. This is going to seal up and it works just fine. Now, before you seal this up, you'd want to put maybe a desiccant pack in there, maybe an oxygen absorber. Uh, that's the whole idea of a Mylar bag is that it makes it so that oxygen and other gases aren't uh, moving in and out through your, uh, uh, through your food. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, there we go. And just like that, we have an absolutely free Mylar bag with a really good seal on there. And, uh, you know, you're going to be able to achieve the exact same thing that you're able to achieve by buying these kind of bags on Amazon. The only change uh, with the new Amazon policy is that it just, it, you know, it makes it more uh, inconvenient for uh, everyone. Uh, people who are you know, involved in illicit activity, people who are involved in completely legal activity. It just makes it uh, more uh, troublesome for everyone. And 
<laughs> that's what it does at the end of the day. So I hope you find that helpful. If you want Mylar bags, there's still going to be lots of Mylar bags available. They're going to be available for free, just like they always have been if you're buying junk food, chips, things of that nature. Good luck and good luck, Western world, trying to continue solving problems by banning stuff. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.